take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow your eyelids to close. That's it. And as you exhale, just get a growing sense that tension is leaving your body. I want you to create a representation of a bright color. Maybe yellow, bright blue, pink, orange. A bright, vibrant color that will represent feelings of resourcefulness. I want you to imagine as you breathe in, you're breathing in this bright, vibrant color of resourcefulness. And as you exhale, just get a sense that stress and tension and anxiety is leaving your body in your outward breath. And perhaps you can imagine that vibrant, bright color that you're breathing in be a darker color as you breathe out giving you a sense that this tension, this stress, these worries are leaving your body in your outward breath. I want you to consider this almost an emotional transfusion. As the resourceful feeling comes in and the unresourceful emotions leave, just by breathing in and breathing out, you can feel more and more resourceful and less and less stressed. But let's add to this even more. I want you to use the power of your memory and imagination to remember a time when you were in beautiful nature. Maybe on an island. Maybe there were forests and trees. Really clean air. A freshness. Maybe you can imagine a river. And maybe even seeing the salmon trying to swim upstream. I want you to get a sense that you're back there, surrounded by nature, no stresses of life, just a time for you to connect with yourself. As you breathe in that vibrant, bright color of resourcefulness, breathe in deeper than you normally would. And as you exhale, just slow down that outward breath, giving you the ability to relax even deeper than you normally would. And I want you to scan your body for where there's feelings of tension. A lot of tension can be around the neck and the shoulders, the jaw and the forehead. But I want you to imagine as you're breathing in that resourceful feeling, that tension is being released in that outward breath. So you can feel the muscles around your eyes and your forehead just relaxing. You can feel your jaw relaxing, neck and your shoulders letting go of that tension, feeling the tension melt away. And I want you to imagine seeing that river. And I want you to imagine that you can see a salmon trying to swim upstream. How much effort does it require to swim against the current? To leap in the air? To keep pushing forward even though everything is pushing you in the opposite direction and maybe you can relate to that salmon feeling like it's an uphill struggle that you're swimming against the tide that even if you feel like you're making progress you could find yourself being pushed back further downstream but I want you to also admire the tenacity, the determination Because for most of the time of a salmon, they're not swimming upstream. They do it once every now and then. 
to go back to their place where they were born to lay some eggs. Much of the time they're they're just swimming freely. And I want you to acknowledge the idea that this time in your life where you feel like you're swimming against the current is temporary. It won't last forever. It's a moment. But I want you to feel that you are unlocking the resources by accepting certain inevitable truths. Even if the salmon wanted to just be in a different place, it can't teleport. The salmon is wherever the salmon is. And all it can do is make progress. It can't change the river. It can't change the weather. It can just do whatever it can do. And I want you to accept that it's okay to do your best and your best is good enough. I want you to accept the truth that you can't do more than you can possibly do. But I also want you to accept that you can't pour from an empty cup. That if you are depleting your energy, your emotions for other people, it will reach a point where your cup is empty and there's nothing left to give. And therefore, your own self-care is an absolute priority. Giving you the right food, the right sleep, the right rest, the right downtime to just be you, to live your life. I want you to remember a time in your life, perhaps, when you were a busy mum, kids were small. You planned what you could, but you accepted that children sometimes get into squabbles, get into accidents, and you dealt with things as they came up. It would have served no benefit to worry about all the things that children could do much better to plan what you can plan and to deal with surprises when they're actually there and I wonder what it would be like to give yourself permission to be a human dealing with a challenging time acknowledging everything that you've already done all the progress that you've already made I want you to get a sense of pride, accomplishment. And even if you know that there is still more to be done, it's easier to do a journey of 100 miles if you can look back and see that you've already walked 50. Because you have evidence that you can do it. That you can make slow and steady progress. And in life... There are seasons. As you imagine looking at this river, this forest, this nature, I want you to imagine like time lapse photography going through the seasons. Imagine seeing this river in spring, then in summer. See the trees change as you imagine it in autumn, and then see perhaps the snow surrounding the river in winter and as inevitable as it is that spring follows winter there will be a time in the future that these stressful challenges aren't so stressful the change is constant cyclical And I want you to allow yourself to let go of some of these things that you've been holding on to. Perhaps guilt, regret, stress, 
self-doubt, just imagine letting go of all of those heavy emotions, noticing that you feel lighter. And I want you to allow your body to activate all of those resources that at certain times in your life have been there. There's been times in your life that you've been full of energy and focus. There's been times in your life that you dealt with problems only as they arose and not before. Times in your life where feelings of guilt were resolved just by acknowledging that if your intention was good, this is not your guilt to hold. And I want you to allow all these wonderful emotions to come up for you. To allow yourself to look after yourself first. To create strong boundaries in your life. And within those time frames of boundaries, you will do what you can but it's impossible for you to do more than you can. And if you're willing to let go of these heavy emotions, to figure out are some of these things that you're stressing and worrying about imaginary or are they real? A worry is imaginary. It's a worry about a future that hasn't happened. And I wonder, just by focusing on what you can make progress on and what you can control, could give you a feeling of being in control of those things that you know and being willing to respond to those things that you don't. And I want you to zoom out in your life and think, are there solutions to some of these flows of things that are currently on your to-do list, on your on your mental capacity that other people could help with, that there are other solutions with. And it's not that there has to be, just that they could be. Because what if those what-if questions weren't what if things go wrong, but what if I could get some help? What if I had more time to do this? What if I put myself first so I slept better, felt more confident, felt more resourceful so I could deal with life as it happens? And then I want you to imagine seeing that salmon finally get to its destination. All that struggle and swimming upstream was finally worth it. It did what it needed to do and I want you to see the same salmon now swimming downstream. Effortless. Knowing that things are easier. They don't have to struggle anymore. I want you to take that feeling of being aligned with yourself. Feeling resourceful. Feeling that you can cope and handle things. And accepting you can only do what you can do. And then just imagine that all of this is just thoughts within thoughts. Ideas within ideas, dreams within dreams. And I want you to return to the present listening to my voice. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Get a sense that you're fully present in the moment. But feeling more connected with yourself, feeling more relaxed. And feeling that you have permission to be human. That you can only do what you can do. As I count from 1 to 10 to awaken you, starting to count. 1, 2, 3, waking up. 4, 5, 6, more alert. 7, 8, open your eyes, open your eyes. 9, 10, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.